so hello friends and welcome back to another another awesome video in this video we are going to learn that how we can install kali linux operating system on our windows machine yes you heard it right and this is provided by microsoft only and we are also uh, you can also do the same with ubuntu operating system and debian operating system too means all are of linux based operating system only so one of the most popular uh, Linux operating system is Kali Linux which is basically basically used for hacking and which is very strong operating system we are going to run right into our Windows 10 operating system so let's see how we can do that and this video may be long if it is long then please be till the end of this video you are going to know something new and very exciting so let's get started with the video after the intro my name is Avinav and you are watching Avicoda Creative Mind So first of all what we need to do is you will go to the start and then you will type here and uh, like you can just type turn on so you can say just to type turn and you can see here it come turn windows feature on or off you need to open on that now you can see this is the main thing now here are something which can make changes or install something different things in your system and I'm also going to create a video on this uh, telnet client which is very very interesting okay i will show you what we need to do is when you will go here you can see here you can see here here is a check box for windows subsystem for linux i have already checked you need to check on this check box and then click on okay it will take some time to do something different trying to install some other programs after that you can restart your system to complete the changes okay now your system will be ready for a linux okay so um, i mean to say that it, your system windows is ready to install a linux based operating system now what you need to do is you can go to microsoft store yeah you are right that you will get it in microsoft store we don't need to go to browser and search for anything third party actually we are going to just install a cli interface not a gui interface of an operating system if you request me in the comments i also know the trick that how we can convert that in cli into the what do we say gui which will be very very nice so now what you need to do is you will go to the search box and type for kali i have done it over here kali or kali whatever you can say in indian english we say it as kali okay you can see here is kali linux same you can do with ubuntu also you will go here and just type for ubuntu and hit enter you can see you will get different versions of ubuntu so this is the ubuntu and this is the latest of the ubuntu this is uh, the 20 20.02 lts and this is the older version okay and you can also do same thing with debian so now let's install the kali so I'll go to Kali or Kelly. As you can see here it is. You just need to click on install. So now it will be installed soon. Let's wait for it. It's downloading the files for it. Yeah, and it's not too much large because it's only you can see here. It's a CLI, but of course CLI takes a um, bit more space like 1 GB or 700 MB but this in but this only takes 200.2 MB which is very 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 less so you can see according to an operating system it's very 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 less okay so now it will be installed so let's wait till the uh, till it installs so this video is going to be very very interesting friends when I will run this operating system and please make sure to subscribe and like to my channel and please can keep me motivated so that i could create more amazing content like this only so let it install oh finally it's installed it was too quick right but it also depends on your internet speed also you can open it by here or you can go to the start and you will see here Kali Linux you can just click on it 
see this is the CLI it will take some time to install this may take a few minutes okay it's installing the Kali taking a bit longer than expected but let's see yeah so you can see here uh, it's set up and we need to set up the unix user id a username we can say like when you install the windows operating system in your pc then you need to give the name right like i give my pc name like a vcoder laptop or a vcoder pc and then i assigned a password for it same you need to do it here so I will give here uh, for my purpose. I'll give here capital decoder Abhinav. Okay, let it be my name, username. Now we need to set up a new password. So I'll give a password. Actually, I'm type my see. I'm typing the password. Did you were you able to see my password? No. This is the feature of Linux that uh, in the CUI interface of Linux that whenever you type the password, then it will not show that you are typing anything. So don't be afraid that it's not getting anything in detail. Actually, it's getting the detail. Okay. So now whatever type then I hit entered, entered. Now I will retype the new password. So I'll type the same password which I entered again. Now I'll hit enter see password updated and you can see its installation was successful and we get a cli interface so we can clear the screen by clear command see this is how we can use this is how you can see this is a kali linux operating system okay so you can type also who am i you can see you, it gives your username whatever you enter so there are many commands which we need in uh, the um, what do we say in CUI interface as we have learned also so you can see here if I open command prompt it also looks the same right this is given by Windows and this is a Kali so uh, some commands are same but many are not in this but the power cell Windows power cell many commands are same as this so Kali Linux is very very uh, useful so I will also create a Mm, large tutorial in it okay so if i type ls here what it will do if in my directory there is nothing in my directory so it just exit so if i may if i need to make a new directory so i will just type for mk dir uh, mk dir subscribe this is my folder name okay I have given mkdir, mk means make and dir means directory and subscribe is my what do we say folder name and then I will enter you can see the folder has been created now if I enter the ls command again you can see it will show that a subscribe folder is there so now if I want to go inside the subscribe folder so I will give you cd sorry cd and then I will give you subscribe you need to be careful with the spellings you can see everything should be correct now you are inside the subscribe you can see here i'm inside the root slash subscribe okay folder now if i type ls nothing is there now if i need to leave this directory i'll just give cd dot dot sorry cd space dot dot and i'll hit enter now i have left the directory so this is how we can do all this so we can also uh, if we want to close we can also give it exit and it will close and in command prompt also this feature is there if i if you type exit and it will close so hope this video would be informative for you guys and make sure to restart the computer after the what do we say kali linux is installed then again make sure to restart your computer so that again all the operations could run properly and the windows this is the new feature it means not new feature it's really old feature uh, i thought i should uh, say you about it 
hope you like this feature and hope you like this video then please make sure to subscribe and like to my channel see you in the next video till then take care bye bye